Robot Prime here, back again for Mega Man 4. And you know, I felt like the last episode was a little boring, so let's spice things up and go after Bright Man. This all be fun! Yeah, they kinda took the whole light bulb tongue says and thing a little too far, if you ask me. Whatever, design's not the biggest problem here. Nice stage music, though, I'll say that much. And stage music, hold on. Hit that guy, turn off the lights. Hit that guy, turn back on. As you can imagine, I kinda want the lights on, and... Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's best not to leave the lights on. That's why! I should learn what... I should really figure out what I'm doing. Okay, take two, let's try this again. Oh yeah, I'm showing off Dust Crusher here. It's actually a pretty nice weapon. Time I won't hit you. Yeah, the problem with those guys is that they kind of, you know, the whole scratch off thing is kind of a problem. Oh, okay. Ah. Oh, oh, no. What is going on? Ah, yeah. Okay, there we go. That was probably harder than it should have been, but whatever. Let's go. Here we have this thing. I don't know what the TVs have to do with promises or science or literally anything. I don't know. That's Capcom. Yeah, I mean, designs just keep getting weirder, and I think I might well switch to the monster. It's better for taking out the Tiki's. Up we go! And this guy again. Yeah. Wow, this thing shreds enemies better than I remember. Alright, Rush, get me out there, boy. Good boy. I'm not sure what they call them. And here we have the fan enemies. I told you these designs to keep them weirder. I bet I could use some weapon energy right now. That'd be nice. I said I could use some weapon energy right now. Or any of you guys paying attention to me, I need weapon energy. Drop weapon energy, please. Now whatever. Let's go down here. Got these platforms, which are weird to see saws. Oh, okay, didn't quite make that. Alright, Rush. We need your assistance again. And we get an E tank and a 1 up. Well, something interesting. Well, what would you do? Weird. Alright, we're gonna need some help back. And Rush, you still got enough in ya? Why Rush exists to make life easier. Yeah. Alright. Probably could have done that a little better, but whatever, let's move on. Not slide jump in this game? Uh. Okay, you can. Yeah. Okay, good, you can slide jump. I was worried about that. Because I know you couldn't do that in 6. I wasn't sure about this game. Oh, it just popped into my head. Not much to say here, there's fancy looking death spikes, but there's still death spikes. They hurt. A lot. Whatever. Also, okay, I guess grass arms are a little more science related, but nothing we can do, like, you know, light related. If you wanted to do something really light related, you could have lightning bugs or something like that. Oh hey look, weapon energy, finally. Ask and you will eventually receive after like several screens. Up we go. And yeah, I can use some dust crusher ammo. Alright, it's a new armor. Because I want to make things harder on myself. We you. And the lights are finally back on. Okay, don't kill you. Whoa, I almost crashed into that bullet. Okay, there's a light. Another light. And we're here. 
Alright, there's something very important, I, a, few, a few important things I have to say about this fight before we get into it. The way Bright Man works is that he can stop time like Flash Man from Mega Man 2. Unlike Flash Man, however, he is very dangerous with this ability. Basically, he uses it when he's at 12 units of health, 20 units of health, or 24 units of health. The way it works is that, so long as he doesn't hit those levels of health, he'll be fine. So, I pretty much have used a charge shot at 11, 19, and 23 units of health. So, I will have to concentrate. So, I probably won't say a word for this whole fight. Okay, here we go. I really do not like this fight. Well, they did say this was science related, and math is partially related to science, right? That's three. Oh, ow. See, he looks like a truck. Six. Seven. I think. Yeah, 16. 19. 22. 24. And he's dead! That was a lot less painful than I imagined. Also, don't let his body touch you. He hurts a lot. For yeah, maybe body slams you. It does kind of look on the, you know, kind of heavy side. Whatever, let's get out of here. And this time we got the Flash Stopper. I think the Flash Stopper, if it was good, like actually useful. You can stop time and shoot the Buster, which is if you could fire the Buster with the Flash, with the Time Stopper from two, that would have saved the Time Stopper. But whatever, I'll just get back to the same slugs. So yeah, that was easier than I expected. <laughs> uh, whatever. This is Omar Prime signing off, and we'll get back to Mega Man 4 later. Until next video.